Greetings and salutations, YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, it is your host of the most, Paul Cantu, and today we have a brand new start of a series, turning one penny, actually zero dollars, into one hundred thousand dollars, all live in the thrift store. Paul, you've got mail. I, 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 I got, I got the internet like going nuts. So that is right, y'all. Welcome to a brand new series. Y'all seem to enjoy all these series, and each time I start a new one, I try and amp the challenge. So I started with turning $1 into $1,000 live in the Goodwill bins. Then I used all my resources to turn one penny into $35,000 to pay off my house. I just completed that goal, and I cannot thank you guys enough for joining me along the way. The support has been un. Real, Unreal. but now, alas, I'm trying to start a business and show you guys the entire process of how to turn zero dollars, I'm saying one penny, but really zero dollars into a $100,000 business. This is going to be a long series. This is only episode one, but it always is fun to start from scratch. I'm gonna bring you guys along the way on how I sign up and create an LLC, how I potentially get a space, hire employees, Everything is going to be encompassed in this challenge. And again, for every single like, I am making donations each month to a new charity. So this month, the charity I'm donating to is the Nature Conservancy. Basically, they try and save a natural habitat and prevent biodiversity loss to store carbon and ultimately slow down, if not halting global warming. So please guys, just go ahead and smash that like button. I will update you guys at the end of every single month with how much money we have raised for charity. So smashing the like button is easily the best way you guys can help me out. And I'm gonna be selling items from this challenge in two places, on my website, which is thrift evanvintage.com that is linked down below and also on whatnot which is a live auctioning platform where i do sell all these vintage garments i come across but without further ado man it's time to hop in the car get to the first thrift and try and turn zero dollars into 100k and we're starting today T -t today junior and here we go again on my own As y'all can see, we have touched down at Goodwill. We're actually at the bins where they sell clothes by the pound. So there are literally bins full of clothes. A lot of them are damaged, nasty, downtrodden, and they sell everything for $2.19 per pound. So this is hands down the best deals I can get on items as of right now since I have absolutely zero dollars to work with. So here's my idea. I'm gonna go up in the bins, sift, dig, try and find items, and then I'm gonna actually sell them out of the bins to try and make the money to actually purchase them. You guys will see what I'm talking about, but I need to find some good bangers. They're just now opening the store, so there should be some new bins lined up, some new rows to go through. So fingers crossed, I can find some bangers, but let's get it, no more chit chat. Time to go first person perspective and get these vintage bangers. Uh, let's get Round one, fight! Okay, I can do something with these, man. The Levi's 501s, 36 by 34. Jesus, how does that even happen? Dude, I kid you not. Wear it, find it. Astros number 51, Randy Johnson. This is cut up in all the wrong ways. Why? All right, this is actually something that I could possibly use. You got the swoosh, the Nike just dead, quarter zip, big back hit. This is new school, but again, with zero dollars, this has to be something I add to the cart. Oh, okay, look at this, man. 5K run, a day in the wildflowers, single on the Stiach, Mitchell Coleman, hold up. And then you got the Adidas, the tag with the flag. Sweet. Okay, I might grab these, just some little vintage short shorts. Okay, so there's round one in the books, the opening round. Uh, there's only a few things that I got that I really am going to run, which are the Adidas shorts, the Nike quarter zip, and of course the members mark essential. Now some maybes are a day in the wildflowers, as y'all saw. The Randy Johnson is pretty messed up, and then I might spoil myself 
with the Puma shorts. But again, a slight little accruement and collection of gear. I think these will be enough to at least turn that zero dollars into maybe like 15, 20. Fingers crossed they have more sauce. But nevertheless, the first round wasn't too bad. Let's get on to the second. Round two. Fight! All the silk draws. I can rest. Damn, that stock? Yes, yeah, the, the Nike little flea, flea market exclusive. Ooh, that vomit green striped 90s polo. What everybody needed. Look, you got Betty Thought in this crazy like clown suit outfit. Let's get it. Houston Vintage Fire Rescue. Dang. So sorry this marriage did not work out. Oh, the fishing vest this is actually pretty cool. I think it's like a 3XL, 6XL, my size. Oh, the 90s color block can match your plush. Perfect. All right, so that is round two. And uh, peep game, man. I pulled a good one, that flea market, Nike Air exclusive, and they did grace it with the white tag, just for obvious authenticity. Has a nice brown hits. Fire and Rescue is another one I think I'm gonna run because it's so clean. Betty Bop, of course, for the crib. And then the 6XL fishing vest. Dude, I might as well, that oversized fit. There are a couple of other things, but these are the ones I definitely am gonna run up. Round three. Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> Fight. We got Brent Favre on the champion. Oh, clear length varsity jacket. The Nike Essential team. Hold on, that vintage gap though? Yes. Oh, that's a grail right here though. The pine cone turkey. Jeez, that is art, man. So this concludes the third round, the third rotation of bins. And I have a few cool things. All of these you guys did see, aside from this Foster's Crack Open of Friendly Beer Tea on the Hanes Heavyweight, I need it. Slight Nike, again in HD, the Gap hoodie. You got the Brett Favre Vintage Champion. This is actually really cool. And that is not a stain. That is legit just like chocolate crust delicious and then i did find this varsity jacket right here which is clean no name on the back just cl now the only thing about these heavy pieces and this will probably cost about six to eight bucks so it will have to be sold for more than that and the gap hoodie probably will also be around six dollars all right so that's one thing i have to keep in mind is the weight of the garments check these out guys on the redig in these old bins while i'm waiting for more clothes potentially to come out i found this santa cruz stripe tee but i found this vintage university of texas hoodie super cool a little light stain right there it is on that logo athletic vintage frame this is a really good old school piece of course, I gotta grab this, and that's where I went to college. Let's freaking go. Okay, so I think I have enough stuff at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little Instagram video where I shout out my whatnot live, where I'm gonna live auction all these items starting at one single buck. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Y'all know what time it is, man. The fingers are dirty with the thrift patina. We're live in the bins, and I actually am gonna do a live auction out here with everything I found in the next like 45-ish minutes. Guys, what is good? We're live in the pins. We got two camera angles. I'm screen recording this. I'm starting off with zero dollars. Y'all want me to run the off the back? Not yet. Y'all know what it is? New school, but still cool. Coda zip. Everything starts at one single book. Henry Murphy. Thank you, my brother. You are fueling the operation. Hey, we got my boy Carlos Vintage. Hey. We got him in the band. Who wants to come up in here, man? We got the whole gang. Hey, everybody, come up in here. Cameraman, cameraman, cameraman. cameraman. We got Jerry up in here. Y'all want me to run this? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> an iMac in the bins. Bro, that is crazy. Hey, this is authentic fudge freaking bin scum, all right? This could be, you know, butthole debris. Hey, who am I to judge, okay? 
Look guys, y'all are live on the video right now. So y'all get going, Crypto King. Yes, we're still running the Brett Favre, by the way, if you guys do want that thing. But yeah, everybody shout yourself out, man. We out here, y'all are live on camera. This is Inception on Inception. Now my top two pieces that I sold were actually the University of Texas hoodie. This sold for $25 and then I sold the Nike Air Flea Market exclusive for 40 buckarooskies. Man, I can't thank you guys enough. So we are done running the live. I got a car full of everything that you guys picked up. Now this jacket, I don't know if the payment actually went through for it and it's probably gonna cost me like $8 to purchase but sometimes you gotta risk it. Now I did tally up all of my profit after I did pay the fees on whatnot, which is like, I think like 11%. Um, but yes, it was $134.90. So now I'm gonna check out, see how much the damage is. I'm gonna calculate everything to actually see the profit I made and what I have to spend for the rest of the day. But yeah, this is how I went to a thrift with zero dollars and uh, we're gonna see what the total profit is. So let's get, let's go ahead and skedaddle. All right, let's see what the damage is. So 31.38, let's go. All right guys, so we are up out of the bins. Again, car full of stuff. So I spent $31 in there and I made 134 on whatnot. So total I have about a hundred and what, three dollars of spending cash. So that's not bad for starting out with absolutely nothing. And again, this is the first episode, so we are stunting. And I just thought it'd be cool to start with zero dollars. Like I easily could have started with a buck, sold the one item, flip from there. But I felt like this was even cooler, man. So uh, let's load up and then get on to the next spot with a hundred and three bucks in my pocket. Step out in the night, night, just a giant, giant. Now I'm in the forest, it could bog crank. Lavish lifestyle, come with some extra luggage. Lungs feel bigger budgets. It's a touch of And all right, guys. So here we are at the next spot on the block and it feels great to have some room in the budget. Now this is the Family Thrift Alley where everything is $2.25 per item. Okay, so this is a first, man. The lights are off in the thrift. So I'm gonna try and record to the best of my abilities um, what I find, but I'm gonna have to bring it to this area where there is a lot of natriel lighting and we'll see how long I'm actually in here. But nevertheless, I'm gonna try and display some of the crazy finds that I do pull. Okay, what an eerie vibe, guys. I have my camera wide open with the aperture, trying to let in as much light as possible. This is lit like a Renaissance painting, but I found two Kooji crew necks. Just look at the texture. This one is looking like spaghetti vomit. Mom spaghetti. Another thrashed special made in the USA. There it is. You got the car heart. This thing is heavily distressed, worn in by a true blue collar sportsman. Look at that tag right there. Diamond collection by starter, the satin jacket. It is so hard to tell if everything is in great condition, if it's stained or not. But 225, man, I'll risk it for the thrift biscuit in this case. All right, guys, so I have moved to the naturally lit section and there is a couple more acquisitions. You have the Wildwood Surf Style Paisley. Super cool chameleon paint job which switches colors in the light even when the iridescents aren't on. And then you also have the Marlboro Unlimited. Unlimited. That is all of a sudden on the floor. Single on the Stiach. There are two more, man. Vintage exclusives. The Mardi Gras. It is coming up. So you guys already know, man. It looks like a clown is riding a gator. That definitely is a rodeo I would like to partake in. What? And then you have the tree faces. One shirt. Come on. Light or not, man. We are still finding some bangers. Check this one out. The Tommy for your mommy. The Tommy for your mother. Hill figure with the seer sucker stripes. This thing is detailed to perfection. Perfect. Tan little hits. I gotta grab this old school as hail. Just look at that crest. Oh yeah, man. All right, there it is. That's a grail. Lost in the sauce, guys. Lost in the sauce that Givenchy. God bless you. God bless you. Now you got some um, granny style right here with this amazing pony. And then cut and sew. Yes, I love this unique 90s colorway, all right? This is very like vintage library-esque. More cozy season apparel. The man who dared to dream, Martin Luther King. 
This thing is clean. And then I got this bad boy. I don't even know what this is. It says buy Sam a drink and get his dog one too. I promise you guys, we have the Cozy Season Essentials on deck, the USA Authentic brand. And then this is yet the third piece that has Woods in the brand name. Very cool, Pendleton esque cozy fleece so no brainer and all righty guys we are up out of there that is so weird that the lights went out luckily i did have some cash on hand and uh yeah i spent 60 dollars and 89 cents up in there so my budget is still looking relatively lovely we still got some coin left so we're gonna see what else we can dig up at some more thrift stores And all right guys, we have arrived. I have like $42 left in the budget. So it is time to absolutely go in and see if we can find any steals and deals live in another thrift. Okay guys, check out the scenery, man. We're in here. First find that Nautica classic $7 banger. I have to grab this super soft material. And they also have this jersey, the weirdest mascot, the Mud Hens. What? Come on, man. What's the opposite of Mud Hens? Like the Dirty Cocks? Yes, let's go. Somewhat synonymous, but still the opposite. I'm gonna grab this. Hey, new man on the Minnesota Vikings. This is the next piece I'm grabbing. Six dollars, not too shabby for daddy. It is cozy. Probably will make a cool 10 bucks off of this. All right, guys, we just exited the Family Thrift Centaur. I was in there very briefly. I only got three things. Oh, three, yeah. I did find this really cool Missouri piece that was dead stock. Hold on, let me unlock the car, then I'll show you. All right, so here it is, man. You have the tiger all embroidered. This is dead stock, $7.57. So I spent a total of $21.19 up in that store. So the budget is still looking lavish and it's time to hit up some more spots, but uh, I'm starting to burn through my earnings. I could do another whatnot live, but I think all these items I'm gonna list on my website, which is thriftheavenvintage.com. So everybody, go check out Thrift Heaven Vintage. The link is in the video description. But yeah, we got some good stuff. So uh, you guys, gear up in style and check me out down below. You guys literally are fueling this series. So thank y'all in advance. And there we are guys, last spot of the day is yet another outlet. Now with my current budget at $2.25 a piece, I think I can get like seven to eight items in here. So I'm gonna try and find some of the best items I can. All right guys, here we go, man. Thank God I saved at least some room in the budget. I think this is the grail of the entire episode. Obviously the finds that I got in the bins this morning were nuts, but this right here, is my swag hold on you got betty mother freaking bopper with the knockers okay the flowers on her hat what is she sitting on like easter eggs gumdrops hold on man 1995 single stiatch all around someone did chop off the tag but my god she's scantily clad just got her nails did lord man somebody animate me just so i can pipe one time nothing on the back it's all good though. You got Betty Bops on the front doing her damn ting. My lord. Look at this. LA Lakers, my favorite brand logo. What? Seven. Oh, seven. Y'all know what it is. Oh my god. Look. Lumberjack guts on the inside. Authentic Levi since 1850. Know your history, brothers. Yes. All right, man, we're about to wrap it up. We got some glorious colors, okay? You got the brown and you got the green. Ah, it's like a tree. You got the trunk and you got the foliage, okay? Carhartticus, perfectly distressed by a working man. I think I'm gonna include these in my eight piece selection at STC Warehouse Embroidery. Ooh, highly desirable. So here's the selection I made. Obviously the two Carhartts, the Betty Boop the Levi's denim, U of H Cougars, 94 Mickey, LA Lakers logo seven. And that is seven pieces, just because I wanna make sure I don't go over the budget, okay?
And alrighty class, so I am back right now. It has been a couple of days since this video was shot and I am proud to say I got a ton of the items listed on the website, a lot of them sold. I haven't calculated what I made from them, but I did calculate what I made from the last seven items I did purchase. And I did a live auction those on whatnot. So thank you to everyone who did tune in. And by the way, man, you guys have to follow my Thrift Heaven official Instagram. It's called Thrift Heaven Vintage to make sure you guys know when the drops do occur and when I do go live on whatnot. So just go ahead and follow me down below. And then my personal IG is also where a lot of little snippets are thrown up and that is Mr. Paul Can too. But anyways, man, I bought the seven yeah. items for $17 and four cents. And then I sold those seven items for a total of $215 and 34 cents. So that is my total profit after fees. So right now the budget is looking lovely. We're sitting at about $220 just off this first episode. And that doesn't include everything that did sell on the website. I'm gonna calculate that in a bit and I will catch y'all in episode two with a brand new total. And I'm gonna use that money to set up some accounts, set up some accounting and creating, of course, an official LLC and business so once again if you guys did enjoy this first episode of zero dollars to a hundred thousand we're on a mission to set up a big business something that is local something that is homegrown and something that is throwed then definitely smash the like button keep tuning in for the win subscribe if you guys aren't already and remember every single like is a penny donated this month to the nature conservancy and then we'll pick up with another nonprofit in the next month that will follow up so i'll catch you guys next time live the dream eat that ice cream peace and love i'm out killing these songs leaving a bloody life i rules to and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to, you should get used to. You should get used to.